Zulzum, we now fresh the Sims. When last we left off, Samuel took a day off to rest and recharge his batteries, and now he is as ready as he'll ever be to face the working day. He will need to take a day off every now and again to make sure that his needs don't deteriorate as much as they did, because he barely has time between his work and going to sleep to socialise or to make sure that his fun is exceptionally high. We may need to work on that fun stat. Maybe we should buy him a piano. They're very fun, and I'm sure he'd enjoy it, but that's neither here nor there, because we're not going to be focusing on Samuel today, we're going to be focusing on Dave here, and I did make a minor mistake in buying him a diamond ring, and by minor I mean it was a major mistake, because he can't use that to propose to Yvette. He actually needs to get the long term relationship up far higher than it currently is, to roughly about 100. When long term and short term are pretty much at maximum, then the option of proposing becomes available. The diamond ring is not entirely wasted however, it is something that can be presented as a gift and I imagine it would give a significant boost to both the short term and long term relationship. So it's there just in case he needs it, but even if he didn't have it, he'd still be able to produce one if he managed to uh, propose to Yvette, and the wedding would still cost a significant amount, so we're going to have to save up for that. And to get that money, we're going to have to go to work, and we're not going to work right now at quarter to one in the morning. We need to get a little bit more energy before we do that. And some people have been saying that uh, Dave should uh, train up his mechanical just in case things break down. While that may be something that Samuel would do, Dave is not that kind of person. Dave is confident that all of his devices will never ever break. After all, they have a SimCity warranty! It doesn't actually say how long the warranty is for, or what would happen if the uh, appliances break, but he's confident that even though he hasn't read it, it will still apply. And Dog there was in the way, preventing him from using the food processor, that processes all the food into a fine paste that he will be eating this morning. Excellent. There was few uh, levels of cooking that he got, were actually uh, serving him very well in making sure that his food is both delicious and mildly more nutritional. I say mildly because he's figured out that you can actually put stuff in the food to make it better. He's only just figured this out at Cooking 3. Sit in that slightly more comfortable chair that really shouldn't be more comfortable because it's made almost entirely of metal, as opposed to the other one that at least had bits that weren't made of metal. And his hunger goes up, uh, brilliant, that is fantastic, it is nearly full. You might as well get rid of that, and maybe at some point we might actually get you a sink in there. You probably won't use it, but we might get you a sink when you have a little bit more money. How is the relationships uh, going here? 90 there with Samuel, which is really good. That's not going to go down for quite some time. We don't need to pay attention to the plants, so and we don't need to pay attention uh, either to the, um, to anything that's been left behind here, like this uh, bed that needs making. At least I think we don't need to pay attention to I've forgotten if we actually have a gardener. The answer is we do. It's been that long since I've recorded. What with the move and all, causing shenanigans and interruptions of uh, the general schedule of everything. But Dave's schedule is entirely uninterrupted, and now he is having a soothing and relaxing shower. But what will he do with the rest of his morning? Why, he's going to work out and get back those points of body that he's missing. And I think Dog is soon going to be going to sleep, as his energy is uh, below half, it's not going to take long for that to go down to the bare minimum. So we're now going to uh, have him work out and get those points of body back. It would be a significant investment in time for him to get those uh, two extra family friends, but maybe we'll be able to work on that and uh, make sure he gets that final extra promotion. Maybe the job after this one will be even better. Time for you to work those muscles, Dave, and get back what you lost in that unfortunate accident while you were a stunt double. It was very unfortunate. It actually made page 75 of the paper. There are actually only 73 pages of the paper, but it was very close to being in there. Unfortunately, it got cut for something far more interesting. A rerun of the adventures of Yeti Man and the review of it. It actually only got one star, but Dave just proclaimed that that review was completely wrong and didn't get the subtle nuances that is uh, Yeti Man. Alright, he's nearly got one point of body back. Oh. This is going to dramatically lower his comfort and energy, but I'm sure he'll be able to go to work with a fantastic mood regardless. 
We'll just have him keep working out here. He's nearly got that point of body back. Will he get it before oh, he goes to work? The answer is he just went to work anyway and forgot uh, to uh, finish off getting that point of body. We also have bills that we need to pay, which is not fantastic. We don't have that much money, but I'm sure we'll be fine anyway. Time for you to come back from work, Dave, and see how much we owe the uh, SimCity uh, tax authorities. The answer is probably a little bit more than we did before, mainly because of the uh, fact that we bought those chairs. And now, that car goes away, and we shall never see it again. Hello, dog, how are you? We just came back from work, and he's very happy to see us indeed. Marvelous. It's um, surprising that Dog doesn't socialize with all the other animals that are on a lot, a, a lot more than he, he actually does, which would um, deal with the social need that um, Dog sometimes requires uh, filling up. A dog runs off to... Uh, I have no idea what Dog's running off to do, but he's going to do it. All right, we'll just put these on the floor and see what um, we need to pay. 221, that is more than reasonable. And I think we most certainly need to work out. And there goes Dog urinating all over the machine that we're about to use. Maybe at some point we can get a third point of body. That would certainly help in uh, us and our efforts to uh, get a promotion. We may go for another promotion with Dave, while we're occasionally inviting Yvette over. 54 on the uh, long term isn't bad. We're well on the way to uh, getting to maximum there. We'll probably want to ring her to make sure that the uh, short term doesn't get any lower than it already is. But it has been a very tiring day indeed for uh, Dave here. I think it's time to stop working out and uh, go and make that phone call quickly. We shall call the neighbor and see how Yvette is doing. I'm sure Yvette is absolutely fine, but just ringing to see how she is is most certainly something Dave would do. Off you go to the telephone! We might actually want to put a telephone in here as well, so that if the phone goes, he will be able to answer it even when he's asleep. That would be quite sensible. There we go. We'll uh, have just a conversation here. He's way too tired to have somebody over. He'd just fall asleep. I mean, we could get him a, a coffee machine, but where would we put it? We've no idea. Hello, Yvette. How are you? And then he had a conversation that went into the evening, and also he uh, probably needs a little bit of fun here as well. Um, we could do that before he goes to bed, I'm sure it won't hurt. We'll have him turn on the television and watch the best cartoon that he's ever seen. It is the best cartoon that he's ever seen, I don't think he's actually seen any other cartoons. How many other animals are on the lot like, right now? There are uh, two cats, I think, and uh, I think that's a dog there. Anyone else? It doesn't seem like... Ah, there is another uh, pet that has appeared, and his comfort is very low indeed. I know, Dave, we'll be sorting that in a moment, by having you watch cartoons for a very short <sighs> while. And already he is uh, relaxing a lot because this chair is exceptionally comfortable. Exceptionally comfortable. And you know what? We're actually going to put a telephone in his bedroom. It is a significant investment in Simoleons. Very significant, in fact. It is uh, quite a bit of his current money. But it will be worth it if something happens, like uh, somebody tries to rob his house. So then he can get up immediately and ring the police. Although I imagine that will be a little bit too late for uh, taking care of a burglar. But if the phone rings for any, like, money that he could get, he will be woken up by it. And unfortunately, he is too tired to uh, keep watching television. And there is El Bandito. We're going to have to deal with El Bandito here. I take it Dog... Ooh! Dog is going to fight El Bandito! Go, Dog! Take care of El Bandito! And then there was a ruckus. And will El Bandito win? The answer is... I don't know. It's very tense, this. All the other animals are coming to have a look and see what's happening. Is Dog going to be able to stand up to El Bandito? We may never... Oh! They're fighting! And the answer is, is that we... I think El Bandito is gone. Yep, I think uh, it fast-forwarded there because, uh, unfortunately, Dave went to sleep. But I think um, Dog won. Which is a advantage to having um, a dog on the, um, the lot as yours. Because then... Um, I didn't actually know that that would happen, that um, Dog would fight off El Bandito. I don't think a... Um, where are you going? Where are you going? 
I think you're going over there into the middle of the road to, uh, relieve yourself. Well, I suppose it's better than the exercise machine. Why is the exercise machine? No, there's only one puddle there. Hmm, curious. Either way, we're going to let Dave rest here. Dave will rest well, knowing that his sleep will not be interrupted by El Bandito. It may be interrupted by a phone call, but maybe the phone call will be beneficial. And I think that is enough energy for him. Wake up, rise and shine. Fill that bowl, have a hearty breakfast, and then uh, not practice your speech there. We need to have you uh, deal with those needs, and then you're going to work out some more. We need you to get that third point of body. One point of creativity should be easy enough for you to get if we get you an art easel, and one point of charisma should also be rather simple to get. We do need you to get two family friends, however. I wonder how you're going to be able to maintain that. You may need to take a day or two off work to make that happen. There we go. One delicious breakfast. It is the same as the breakfast you always have. There is no variety in Dave's diet, apart from when he gets pizza, which is the best day ever. Disclaimer, any day could be pizza day. It's basically on his calendar. It's like pizza day with a question mark. Today was not that day, though. There we go. He will eat this food, and then he will move on to training body and getting that third point. And I highly hope that he doesn't uh, lose two points of body with the random event. I think there's only one random event for uh, this level of the career, and it's a pretty bad one. Bladder there is significantly lower than I want it to be. We want it to be sort of about here, so that he uh, doesn't have any problems with anything that comes up, like for instance, uh, anything that's in the toilet if it clogs, which is a significant, uh, well, it's a possibility considering the fact that he doesn't flush it. He didn't flush it there, for instance. We're definitely going to have to get you to flush that so that uh, things don't go horribly wrong. There we go. Hygiene is now up. And what a surprise, it has uh, clogged up. You're going to need to unclog that at some point. Or maybe the maid will unclog it. Who can say, eh? Are you going to get that third point of body before work? The answer is no, you are not. Because your mood has deteriorated significantly. You're going to have a sit down, which unfortunately is not going to... Uh, not going to have uh, much benefit because you're not going to have much time to do it. Maybe if we have you watch television for a tiny bit, maybe like half an hour, that is really not where you should be uh, urinating there, dog. I think we're going to have to scold the dog here. That was very bad. Never mind, he's apparently going to work and leaving the television on. That is terrible, Dave. All that electricity that you're wasting. And not surprisingly, the maid does not take care of the toilet. I'm not surprised there. He is now at work, which means that he has to... Uh, ooh, there you go. Money has been earned. And what he needs to do now is turn off that television and unclog the toilet. Unfortunately, this is all your fault, Dave. If you actually flushed it more often, that wouldn't happen. Just uh, wait here for Dog to come and say hello. How awake is Dog? Dog is very awake, but that social stat certainly needs improving at some point. We'll most certainly do that. Hello, Dog. How are you? Did you urinate all over the carpet again? You really should not be doing that, you know. You really shouldn't be doing that. Hello, Brad. How are you? And then he walked around us and carried... Apparently, he's completely changed direction and is now going to go that way for some reason. You could have just walked around us, you know, but never mind, eh? Never mind. You left that on all day, Dave. And he is indifferent to that, as he realizes now that he has to uh, unclog the toilet. It's going to take a significant amount of time, especially considering the fact that he has no points in mechanical whatsoever. It doesn't take too long, however. I think we might want you to, um, you need to ring a vet, which is something you definitely need to do, just to make sure that that doesn't deteriorate uh, below 98. I mean, in theory, we could wait another day, but why do that, eh? Let's keep that at 100, and it will help your social that little bit. Let's hope that your mood, actually, your mood in here is uh, two in the positive, which is really good. You need to flush that more often. You definitely need to flush that more often. What can we have you do for the remaining time? Probably watching a little bit of television. And then tomorrow we'll have you work on that uh, third point of body and finish that off. One point of creativity, though, 
that could probably be uh, gained by just putting an art easel in the middle of the room and just having you paint a bit. As long as we sell it in time for the um, a day not to have passed, we should be able to get all of the money back. And then I don't think we'll need any more uh, points in that, because I don't think we'll be going for the next promotion. The next promotion is most certainly a difficult one to get, as the amount of friends you need increases dramatically. <sighs> there we go. Watch a few cartoons for a little while, while you go through the cycle of desperately trying to raise your skills so that you can get that little bit more money. Also, the uh, promotion money, the bonus that is, uh, would be very good for you. Unfortunately, I think that you're going to have to stop watching television right now because you are just way too tired. There we go. Ah, uh, the trials and tribulations of work, the fact that you have to uh, go to bed at a very early time, mainly because of all the energy that we're losing from uh, you having to uh, work out and get that point of body back, or rather the uh, new point of body. If we hadn't lost the original two points, we might have already got that third point of body by now. And we are resting, and so is Dog. Marvellous. The energy stat is uh, going up quite a bit there, and when it's nearly at maximum, I think about here, we shall wake up and greet the day the same way that we always do, in the dead of night. Unfortunately, in uh, The Sims 1, this does tend to happen, where your uh, daily routine tends to start really, really early. This is exceptionally early, and there are some jobs where it will uh, start even earlier than this. But hey, it does mean that he has a significant amount of time to uh, do everything that he needs to do. We'll just have him uh, quickly prepare his breakfast there, and then do what he normally does, which is this. We might actually have him flush it as well, to make sure that we don't have a repeat of what just happened. There we go. And is flush an option? Flush is an option. Marvellous. We'll ignore clean there, because... Uh, Ooh, actually, you're just uh, going over there, apparently. You're going to play fetch with uh, Dog, are you? Well, I suppose you could do that for a little while. Where is Dog? Actually, why are you going all the way over there to do that? Ah, oh, well, we'll have you play fetch. Why not, eh? These are minutes that we most certainly could be using more productively, but this is rather productive. Would you like to go and fetch this thing? Go and fetch the ball! I don't think Dog is going to fetch the ball. Nope, Dog is entirely disinterested. Just like, no, I have no idea. Dave's just like, ugh. Fine, I'll go and get the ball. I'll go and get it. Look, we'll go back over here. Look, this is easy. Here is a ball. And that is what you must do. You must go and fetch the ball. But either way, we're now going to work out and uh, get that final point of body. We may even be able to sneak in a quick shower before we go into work. Maybe. Just maybe. Alright, there we go. We don't have much more to gain here. Oh. Just a little bit. Actually, his uh, mood is such that he can't actually do that. We need to have him uh, take a shower now, I think, to have a chance of gaining that point. Because uh, hygiene is so low that it's uh, impacting his ability to work out. Or maybe that's comfort that's doing that. We're going to find out, eh? Did that just break? That just broke. Alas, indeed, Dave, alas. Things continue to go wrong for you. Uh, are you going to uh, get that final point here? You have one hour to do it. Can you do it? The answer oh. is... Maybe! Because it's 22 now and you really need to... There we go! Marvellous. A third point of body. Just in time to lose two of them to a random event of the job. And we don't have time, unfortunately, for you to uh, go and uh, sort out any of this fun or comfort or anything. Which is a shame. And I've no idea why he's running there. Maybe because it's such a significant distance that uh, he didn't want to be late for work. Wow, that mood is really not good. Not good at all. Let's hope he doesn't get demoted, eh? Well, at least if he gets demoted, I'm sure he'll be able to uh, quite capably get that uh, job back by um, rather the position he's in, by getting promoted again and getting even more money for it, because I do think you get the bonus again. And there we go. The maid is going to take care of everything there. We're definitely going to have to repair that, though. But maybe it can wait a tiny little bit. Our mood is rather bad, however. Not bad enough that we got demoted, however. What can we do if we go back into uh, here? We could try and get that point of creativity. 
It would certainly help, but for now, we're going to wait for Dog here. And that is not Dog, that is Imposter Dog, otherwise known as Spike. We're going to wait for Not Spike to appear, which is, there we go, hello Dog, and it's bills time already, eh? So many days have passed that we need to pay for those bills once again. We'll do that, and then when we return, we shall try and get more points of uh, charisma and creativity, and then maybe we'll try and work on gaining two family friends for Dave so that he can get one more promotion in his job. Maybe he'll earn that much more money for it. But unfortunately, the uh, efforts of trying to do this are really taking their toll on his uh, mood and on all of his needs, and uh, that went up a very, very tiny amount, and I've no idea why. Maybe the uh, flamingo is slowly appreciating value and becoming a collector's item. Well, this is what I think about it being a collector's item. We shall kick it and depreciate its value once more. Aha. Take that, flamingo! Take that. There we go. And one fake flamingo has been kicked. And when we come back, folks, we will try and work on that creativity. But for now, I think it is time for cartoons. Cartoons? Yep, you should sit down and watch some cartoons, Dave. I agree. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Dag, dag. <sighs>